I got a goofy shirt, some Christmas ears that I made, and then uh, Carolyn got me these Mickey Mouse earrings that I haven't worn in a video yet, which I can't believe, but I keep forgetting to put earrings in, so and there you go. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Goof Troop Christmas. Have yourself a merry little goofmas. Goof Troop Christmas is a 1992 Magical World of Disney television release. It is written by Jim Megan. There were a lot of different kinds of directors, so I'm not really gonna go over those, but Jim Megan wrote it, so that's kind of like the leading helm there. And I covered Jim Megan in DuckTales Treasure of the Golden Suns. Link in the description. Animation directors include Mercia Manta, Charles A. Nichols, Mitch Roken, Richard Trueblood, Woody Yoakum, and Bob Zambodi. Mercia Manta is best known for the Aladdin television series, Fancy Nancy, Jungle Cubs, and the Little Mermaid television series. Charles A. Nichols is best known for Alice in Wonderland, Pinocchio, Alvin and the Chipmunks, and the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Mitch Roken is best known for Heavy Metal, Phineas and Ferb, Star Chaser, The Legend of Orin, and Gargoyles. Richard Trueblood I covered in the video about Tailspin, Plunder, and Lightning. The link will be in the description. Woody Yoakum is best known for Heavy Metal, 4WD, Room to Grow, and The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. Bob Zamboni I covered in the video about DuckTales, Treasure the Golden Suns. The link will be in the description. The post-production supervisor is John Royer, and he's best known for Darkwing Duck, Pickle and Peanut, Kim Possible, and Gargoyles. The music is by Mark Waters, and he's best known for Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, Aladdin, the television series, and Bird on a Wire. The film stars Bill Farmer, Dana Hill, Jim Cummings, Rob Paulson, Nancy Cartwright, April Winchell, and Frank Welker. Bill Farmer plays Goofy and he's best known for being the voice of Goofy in literally everything, but I will say he's also Sylvester, Foghorn Leghorn, and Yosemite Sam in Space Jam. Dana Hill plays Max, and I already covered them in the video about the kids who knew too much. The link will be in the description. Jim Cummings plays Pete, and I covered him in the video about DuckTales Treasure the Golden Suns. Frank Welker plays Grizz the Bear, and I covered him in the video about DuckTales Time is Money. Rob Paulson plays PJ, and he's best known for Animaniacs, Pinky and the Brain, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. Nancy Cartwright plays Pistol Pete, and is best known for The Simpsons, Godzilla, and Flesh and Blood. April Winchell plays Pe Peg Pete, and it's best known for Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Despicable Me Too, 101 Dalmatians, The Series, and Recess. Goof Troop Christmas, or Have Yourself a Merry Little Goof Miss, is 23 minutes, so it's actually a short, but it was on the list because I guess it was part of a one hour TV special which included Toy Tinkers, which I've technically already covered, and then Up a Tree, which I'm pretty sure I've seen but I don't think I've covered on the channel. And then I guess it also had some behind the scenes looks at Aladdin because Aladdin was about to come out. So I covered it. <laughs> I'm covering it right now, obviously. And you guys can deal with it being 23 minutes. So find it and give it a watch. It is about Goofy wanting to make Christmas so spectacular for Max, he kind of overdoes it. And Max just wants to go to Aspirin, Colorado because Pete and PJ and his whole family are going to Aspirin, Colorado for a Christmas away. And so he begs Goofy and Goofy says yes because he loves Max so much. And then in his attempt to make everything so over the top and spectacular, he ruins it all. It's very heartfelt. I thought it was so adorable. I cried because I always cry when Goofy's trying to be such a wonderful dad. And uh, that's pretty much all I have. I thought it was adorable. Um, yeah, I, that's, that's it. It's good, go give it a watch. It's funny, it's goofy. I forgot, so I haven't watched Goof Troop in a really long time. I wasn't a big Goof Troop watcher when I was young, but my brother loved it, so it was on, and I do remember watching some. I forgot about Pete's entire family. Like, I knew PJ, because of the movie but I forgot about Peg and Pistol and the dog. Like I blatantly forgot about all of those characters. So it was nice to be like, oh yeah, Peg and Pistol. And cause when I was researching it, I was like Peg Pete and Pistol Pete, what are these pirates? Like I'm so confused, <laughs> but um, no, it's his family, which is so funny. So that's everything. Uh, my final rating for this is actually seven fire blazing Christmas trees out of 10 because um, I thought it was above average. I thought it was cute and I cried. So I had to bump it up because of the crying. Uh, our total movie count is. 
Very intense salt and cook for listening. If you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter. You'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join my Patreon, seriously. You definitely want to do that. Lots of fun bonus content going on over there. What day is this? This is the beginning of February. So I'm already back from Florida, which means you should be getting the vlog soon if you haven't already started getting them. Exciting. And then also um, I did a soft launch on merch, so please uh, buy it if you're so inclined because I want to see how this company works and all that. Um, there are extended sizes, but they're only offered on specific pieces, so I believe it's the premium shirt and um, like the normal regular hoodie. Those offer extended sizes all the way up to 5XL. Um, I'm a little irked that they don't offer extended sizes in everything and that's why I'm iffy on the company. I'd like to be able to cover all sizes for all sizes of people. So um, it's just a testing period of merch. It's not like an official like, oh my gosh, we have merch. This will be my merch forever. Like, you know, it's a testing merch. That's why it's so basic. Just so everybody knows. Okay. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm sure I have yours, you do, and don't be peed about it. Ooh.